Well, I mean, I, I mean, you are privileged and lucky, definitely. We all are, like, if you're able to get to races and get the experience. But you're 100% self-made, this team, like, all this sort of stuff. Would you have ever thought you'd be running a team but able to perform at this level as well? Because I know it kind of, for you, it happened... I don't know. It seems like it happens organically. You you got offered yeah, I to guess, yeah. maybe run the team, but look at where it is now, man. You've got you had the junior world champ. You've got these Eddie Masters, Matt Walker, these guys that can perform at EDRs and downhills. You've got yourself. I mean, the list goes on for Dude, what yeah, looks like a loosely run program. Yeah, well, I think people think it is. Hopefully, it looks pretty good at the World Cups now with the big pits and stuff, but. Um... Yeah, it's it's wild how it's happened. I never thought it would get this big and good. We're like we're the number one enduro team in the world last year. Um, True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we won that. Mm, Jenna was world champ. Morgan won an enduro. We're the most watched gravity team in like media on YouTube. Like for race vlogs, we got four point three million views, which is roughly three million ahead of any other team, which is quite a quite a stat to like pull out on any other team. I'm sure they're gonna try and catch up this year because you can't be falling three million views behind us because don't know just not that smart i don't think <laughs> but um yeah i don't i honestly don't know how it happened really or yeah thought it would but well, it's how hard did work it happen? i guess but phew, i don't know dude pivot chris kakalis mad respect to him he trusted me years ago when i came to him with the idea of running the team and um yeah i don't know it just kept going like i look at business i never tried to grow a business like when i see people now 20 employees that want to grow it to 50 i'm like why just just chill. You're good. 20 is plenty, you know, like it wasn't like I ever tried to build a team bigger or tried to like do this. It's just happened and happened and happened. Like I remember a pivot like, Hey, what do you think about Enduro? And I was like, yeah, I could run the Enduro team for you. I'll find a guy. We found Eddie, you know, and then we expanded and then we found Morgan and yeah, almost it, honestly by accident, I think like we kind of just had the team. I just wanted to keep traveling in a van and not be on someone else's schedule so the team started and then yeah I don't know it's built which is kind of wild now and I've always knew I could do good as well and then last year it all started falling into place I think just doing more time laps hanging out with Danny Hartmore he's so dedicated to the race course and seeing what he does and just being old and wisey like okay let's listen let's see what other people are doing and then yeah you can like learn from either running a team point or racing as well and trying to be better at that and it's way more fun doing racing when you do good like I've realized that when you do good at races, it's way, way more fun.